So have you decided yet what you're going to do with your federal tax refund, assuming you get a refund? It seems a number of your neighbors are planning to buy new vehicles, but a handful of them are finding out that the great deals they thought they were getting just aren't real. As our Rudy Trevino reports now, they are victims of a new scam. Yes, it's that time of the year again. Uh, people getting ripped off for vehicle deals that are too good to be true. Uasis uh, County tax collector Kevin Kishnick says it's the same racket New Year. The scammers target hardworking folks looking to find a good deal when shopping for a new vehicle. But there's usually a caveat to the deal. We are seeing a lot of deals come through. We've seen four today alone where people have brought in vehicles without titles and they will most likely probably never get a title to these vehicles and they're out the cash that they paid. What happens then? What, what, are they, what options do they have? Well, unfortunately, they don't have a lot, especially if that vehicle comes up stolen. We had an issue last week uh, where a gentleman bought a vehicle in Austin, paid $8,000 cash, was going to get them the rest of the money, and turns out that that vehicle had a stolen remark on its record. That person then drove the car to Corpus Christi. Kishnick says had he been pulled over, he could have been arrested for driving a stolen car. So it's not the reputable auto retailers who do this, according to Kishnick. It's more the individual unscrupulous thief looking for its next mark to make a dishonest buck. So just be extremely careful this time of year because there are lots of people out there trying to take advantage of uh, people's income tax returns. So it's buyer beware. If the deal's too good to be true, it probably is. Another thing to watch out for are fake titles. You can always verify them by the document number at the website txdmv.gov or Carfax. Rudy Trevino, 3 News. Thank you, Rudy.